Hello, and welcome to the Linux command line video series. In this video, we will look at creating and mounting Lux containers. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so you can take me home tonight. One of the more common methods for disk encryption in Linux is Lux, Linux Unified Key Setup. Lux can encrypt an entire block device, can encrypt removable devices, partitions, software RAID volumes, logic volumes, and files. The tool to manage and access the encrypted volumes is called Crypt Setup. So let's go ahead and walk through how to mount an encrypted partition that is part of a media device. Step one, let's go ahead and try to mount the partition using the normal methods. So we're gonna do LS block to see the devices we have. So SDC is our device. So we're going to do sudo mount slash dev sdc1 and then mount it to the mount point of slash mnt usb. And we're going to get a failure, right? It says unknown file system type and then crypto underscore lux. It's pretty much a clue that, you know, it's lux encrypted, right? So step two, we're going to use the crypt setup command to get information about the encrypted container. So there are a few ways to tell if a device or partition is encrypted with Lux. We can use the is Lux option for crypt setup. So if we do sudo crypt setup dash V for verbose, and then the command is is Lux, and then we're gonna operate it on slash dev slash SDC one. It comes back with command successful. So this basically means that this particular partition is Lux encrypted. And just so that we can see what it looks like if a partition is not encrypted, let's do sudo crypt setup dash V is Lux of slash dev SDA2, which is just a regular partition on my hard drive. And it comes back and says command failed with code minus one, wrong or missing parameters. So this is basically the indication that this particular partition is not Lux encrypted. We can use the Lux UUID option of crypt setup, and this will basically give us the UUID because every container, much like most uh, other volumes for common file systems, all have a unique ID. So we can do sudo crypt setup dash V, and then the command of Lux UUID and we're gonna point that to slash dev slash SDC one. And it comes back and gives us the unique ID, right? The UUID and also command successful. Now let's try to do this on a partition that is not a Lux container. So we can do sudo crypt setup Lux UUID slash dev SDA two. And it comes back and says command failed with code minus one wrong or missing parameters. So this basically means the object that we're looking at SDA2, it is not a Lux container. We can use another option for crypt setup called Lux dump, and this will get us a ton of data on the Lux container. So if we do crypt setup dash V Lux dump, point that to slash dev SDC one, we can see all of this information in detail about that particular Lux container. We can also look at the header in hack, right? So we can do sudo xxd of slash dev slash sdc1. And as you can see here, the first couple of bytes, it basically is the word Lux. So this tells us that this is a Lux container. Step three, we're gonna use crypt setup to open the encrypted container. So basically this is a necessary step before we can actually look into the container is that we have to unlock it by opening it. So the command is sudo crypt setup dash V open dash dash type Lux. And then we're gonna point it to slash dev slash SDC one. And then the last argument that we're gonna give it is the name that we're gonna give to the container as we are going to open it. So I'm just going to call it bm 4 and 6 dash lux. So the system comes back and asks for a passphrase, right? Because the container is encrypted with the passphrase. I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And so basically what happens is when the container is opened, there is a special 
location that the open container gets put into, and that's in slash dev slash mapper. So if we do an ls of slash dev slash mapper, we can see here now that there is now a device called bm4n6-lux, which is the decrypted version of the container. So let's go ahead and do ls block and take a look at what we have, right? We have SDC, which is our device that holds the partition that is Lux encrypted. And then SDC1 is the partition that is Lux encrypted. Now you can see BM4 and 6-Lux underneath there because that is the unencrypted version of that partition. Now if we do sudo this type of slash dev slash mapper BM4 and 6 Lux now is looking at the unencrypted partition and it can see the file system. So let's go ahead and mount it. So in order to mount it, we need a mount point. So let's go ahead and do sudo makeder slash mnt slash lux. Right, once again, you can call the mount point whatever you want. It just has to be a directory. Now we can go ahead and mount it. sudo mount slash dev slash mapper bm4 and 6 dash lux and we're going to mount it to the mount point of slash mnt slash lux so now if we cd into slash mnt slash lux and then do an ls we can see the contents inside the unlock container and it looks like we have a secret file here we can just go ahead and do more of that file and get the data that we need so once you're done don't forget to clean up. And the important step is that we have to close the crypt container. So let's go ahead and CD out of where we were before. Then we can do the unmount, right? sudo so umount of slash mnt slash lux. And then sudo crypt setup close bm4 and 6 dash lux. Now if we do ls block again, we see that the lux container is no longer under sdc1. And then we can go ahead and type mount to also double check that everything is clearly unmounted. Let's go ahead and create a Lux volume. Let's start by doing LS block to see what we have. So SDC is the drive that we are interested in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to partition it. So I'm going to do sudo fdisk slash dev slash SDC. And I'm going to go ahead and step through and create a new partition and then take all the defaults, which means it is going to create one giant partition and then the type is going to be Linux. So after it's done, let's do a sudo this type of slash dev sdc. So this confirms that the, there is one partition that we have not formatted yet. So now let's go ahead and format it with the crypt setup command. So we're going to do sudo crypt setup dash v for verbose. And then the command we're going to use is lux format. And then we're going to point it to slash dev slash sdc1, which is the newly created partition. And it's going to give you a warning that is going to overwrite the data. And it wants you to type the word yes in uppercase. So let's go ahead and do that. And then it wants you to enter a passphrase. So let's go ahead and give it a passphrase. I want you to verify, so make sure you type in the same thing again. And then when you are good to go, it's gonna tell you that the command is successful. So let's do an ls block again and take a look at what we have. So we can see that we have SDC. So now let's go ahead and do this type again on SDC, and we can see that it does have one partition. All right, now in order to use the container, we need to go ahead and open it first. So let's go ahead and do sudo crypt setup dash v open dash dash type lux and then slash dev slash sdc1 because that is the partition we want to open. And then the last option we want to give it is the name that we're going to give the uh, unlocked container. So I'm going to call it bm4n6-lux. And it's going to prompt you for a passphrase. Let's go ahead and type in the passphrase. And once it's open, it's going to put it into a special location. So if we look at slash dev slash mapper, 
we can see the newly created unlock partition, right? BM4 and 6 dash lux. And if we do LS block, we can now see that under SDC1, right, that is the encrypted partition, it is going to tell us that we have BM4 and 6, which is the unencrypted partition. Now that the container is decrypted, it is now ready to be formatted with a file system and then mounted for usage. So let's go ahead and create a file system on there. We're going to format it by using the mkfs command. So we are going to do sudo mkfs.ext4 dash capital L for the label. We're going to call it secret stuff. And then we're going to point it to our decrypted partition, which is slash dev slash mapper bm4 and 6 dash lux. Now that we have formatted it, we can go ahead and mount it and then start using it, right? We can add data in there or change data, whatever you want to do. And once again, when you're done, don't forget to clean up by closing that container, right? Because the whole purpose of an encrypted container is that it's encrypted. If you leave it open, then anybody can access it. So we're, we're going to go ahead and close it by doing sudo crypt setup close and then bm4 and 6 dash lux. Now to verify, we can do ls block. And now we see that under the SDC1, the decrypted volume is no longer there. So now we're comfortable that the volume is locked back up. If you're not comfortable with formatting a partition with a file system, make sure you watch this video here. Or if you're interested in more of these videos, make sure you watch this video here. Thanks for your time and see you again.